What the hell is life? I have no idea anymore. Can anybody tell me what's going on? Seriously, like, can you tell me what's going on? Because I have no idea. I'm pretty sure at this point we're living in a simulation. Hi, my name is Johnny Gilbert and I don't understand anything in the world anymore. So there's this YouTuber who's kind of an OG. His name is Yusuf, also AKA FoozyTube. The one and only FoozyTube is a YouTuber that started probably 12 years ago or so. And he would do pranks and yada yada. He did vlogging. And then he got pretty much known for having manic episodes and working out and getting his career destroyed and then having his career take off and making millions of dollars and then losing millions of dollars. He's truly lived a life. He's experienced a lot of things in this world. Recently, Fousey has had to come back. He's killing it on stream. He's been streaming on Twitch, doing a subathon, and it was going really well, except that he's kind of got an ego now and treats people a little bit poorly. And then he also tries to hook up with drunk women, which is not good. If you wanna know more about that, you can watch my last video. There's quite honestly way too much to cover, but recently things have gotten really crazy to the point where I really feel a need to talk about it, and I know I just did a FoozyTube video, but round two, here we go. Fousey recently switched from Twitch streaming, which he's been doing his subathon on, to a different platform called Kick, which is known for being a little more toxic, I'm not gonna lie. Pretty much ran by a gambling company, and that gambling company is named Stake. That inherently is not fully bad, I guess. Unless if you're like me and you see anything with gambling and you go, uh, yeah, that sounds a little sketchy, I'm not gonna lie. But either way, Kick is one of the competitors to Twitch, and they've really been trying to gather some streamers. And recently, FoozyTube got banned from Twitch for a couple days because he was, you know, causing some trouble. Oh, I remember exactly what he did. I was forgetting for a second. He said the F slur. That's what it was. And I'm not gonna repeat that because eh, it sounds like a bad idea. He also on Twitch has said the N word and he tried to get with a drunk woman at the airport when he's supposed to be not having sex because he has a sex addiction, but you know, he makes his own rules, I guess. And that's just a little bit about him. He's been on stream for days and days, probably at this point, 50 days, missed a couple days because of getting banned and stuff, but he's mostly been on for about 50 days in a row or more, which is, not healthy. Subathons, all that shit is not healthy. Yes, I like to watch them, and yes, some people handle them well, but FoozyTube is a person that barely can handle life well. I'm gonna be quite honest, he can barely exist without freaking the fuck out. Fousey is the type of person that can't even handle being around people. He always gets into fights with them. His best friends become his enemies and stop talking to him. It's insane. And before his subathon, he was about to work at Uber again. And this guy really had a massive career at one point. He had 10 million subscribers just on one YouTube channel. He had millions and millions of dollars and he blew it all because at one point he wanted to have a concert for free where he spent $500,000 to have Drake perform and apparently DJ Khaled was supposed to be there and everyone that wanted to be there that was a fan could just come and it was like a 10,000 cap venue so he had to rent that all out and he just lost money and it eventually got swatted and the whole show just became FoozyTube freaking out. I think there was only about a thousand people that actually showed up to the event and one of those people was Keemstar who kept on covering FoozyTube's manic episodes which he's known for. If you didn't know, uh, FoozyTube is also extremely manic and bipolar. I think that's a very important thing to bring up and it doesn't excuse any of the bad things he does or anything but it is something that lets us know a little bit more about what's going on in his life and with his mind. At that concert that Fousey had a couple years ago where he spent $500,000 to pretty much have a shit show, he sees Killer Keemstar, aka Drama Alert, and he used to be friends with him. And he screams at Keemstar, you made me feel suicidal, da 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 da, you made me depressed. And Fousey has this huge freak out on top of a car. Then for a while after that, Fousey's laying low, everything's kind of chilled out, he kind of is just off the grid for a bit. And then he comes back and he starts working out, he becomes a boxer, he gets his ass kicked by Deji, it's some you know, stupid shit that doesn't really matter. But pretty much FoozyTube's career is like this. It just keeps on not dying. It like dies for a minute or a couple years or so and then he's back in the light and then he goes and does it again and then he goes and goes. It's a freaking thing that just doesn't stop. And recently with him doing streaming 24 seven for days and days in a row, it has been insane. In a lot of ways, it has revitalized his career, which is cool to see. But quite honestly, I don't think this guy actually maybe deserves to have an online career because honestly, he's kind of creepy. And not only that, but he's very ungrateful 
and emotionally abusive to people. And that's not just my words. That's also people that are very close to him calling him emotionally abusive. He's had people that are his best friends pretty much not be his friends anymore because he treats them like shit. There are so many clips of him treating his security guards like shit. There's so many clips of his friends getting treated like shit. He's somebody that will be so like, oh, peace and love and this is great and da da da, I feel great. And then he'll turn his back on those people and start yelling at them and treating them like shit and gaslighting them and it is pretty awful to watch to be quite honest and i'm not gonna lie for a lot of this i was like oh this is really entertaining you know i'm watching this guy's life and to be quite honest he's pretty unpredictable and that made it kind of fun but now it's gotten to the point where it's just completely sad i don't even know if this is fun to watch anymore i actually worry about him and i'm not worried because i'm like oh my god fuzzy tube's the best person ever or anything i just worry in the sense that he's a human being and it's sad to see somebody losing their mind and becoming a terrible person, quite honestly. By the end of this video, I will promise you, you will understand why I felt the need to make a video on this. I think in my last video on Fousey, I mentioned this, but I've been pretty worried about him getting swatted, which is a thing that streamers go through a lot. Swatting is when people call fake police reports on a streamer because they know their location. It doesn't technically have to be a streamer, but usually it ends up being a streamer because the people that do the fake calls on them wanna see the reaction and the police show up. So they say, hey, I saw this person do this crime or they said that they're gonna kill their family or they said that there's a bomb threat or whatever you know they say all these things and then the police will show up because they have to and the people that do the call like to see you know what happens and usually that's why they do it on a stream it's a very dangerous thing it's really gross and when i see somebody that's as manic and aggressive as fuzzy tube can be it really worries me for how he would react to the police he also is the type of guy that will be streaming while he's at the airport which is a really bad idea i brought this up in my last video but it's a bad idea you should never do that in my opinion because it's one thing if you get swatted when you're at your own home but when you're swatted in public it's just on another level. With that being said, let's take a dive into what's been going on with FouseyTube. So this first clip literally happened only a couple days ago. And this is Fousey at a restaurant where somebody called a bomb threat on him. You getting bomb threats? Do you want us to leave? I can't turn it, I'm not doing anything. I could leave. Somebody, here's what happened. Somebody drove by and saw him, yelled at him, and they put it all over so I'll leave, it's okay. You seem like you're gonna cry. I don't wanna hurt your feelings. And that's not what it is, and I don't want to I'm more concerned about the people. Nobody's doing a bomb threat, man. Wake up. Nobody's doing a bomb threat. It's a 13 year old at home trying to scare you. Don't cry. Somebody called in a bomb threat in 2018 and made me lose millions of dollars. They're doing this to fuck with me, not you guys. I don't want the food, by the way, and I'm not paying for it. It just came out. No, 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 fuck this restaurant. So right there, you can see that he's obviously kind of a dick. For most of these places, they're not very educated on bomb threats because they're not streamers where it happens often. They don't really probably even watch Twitch, to be quite honest. But his attitude was, you know, nice in the beginning, and then he switched up on them and got sassy, and he's like, oh, well, it's not real. It's just a 13-year-old trolling, which for them, they don't understand that because, you know, they're not dealing with this often. So it's not a normal thing for most people, believe it or not. And then he kind of gets aggressive with them and pretty much says, okay, I'm not going to pay for the food and all that stuff just to be sassy at them. And he's like, fuck this place. Like, I don't know. I feel like that's very disrespectful. I don't see the point in that. I totally see where they were coming from. And for him to be acting like that, it's just like, dude, you're you're a dick. Like, that's actually a huge dick move. There's also this clip where Fousey unfortunately hung out with Sneeko, who's another piece of garbage on the internet, and they both got swatted on live stream. Hi guys. I'm a live streamer. Um, I'm a live streamer. I have 25,000 viewers watching right now. Everywhere I go, I just had to leave Arizona because of it. Everywhere I go, 13 year olds call the police departments and say, there's a guy holding a girl hostage in his room. Da, da, da. You guys are more than welcome to walk in, take a look around, everything. Are you, are you okay? okay? Oh yeah. Okay. Is everybody okay? Everybody's good. Is anybody in here at gunpoint? No. no. All right. Is that what they said? That's why, yeah. Oh, that's why. Yeah. You guys can come in. You guys can come in. So that's two recent examples of him getting swatted, which yes, luckily nothing bad happened, but things do go wrong and people have lost their lives to this. And I think that's something to keep in mind and really be aware of. Obviously, there's not really much you can do about it. If you have a look at his YouTube channel, they literally clip every single thing that he's done whether it's good or bad, and they will upload it to his channel with some clickbait ass 
red circle or red arrow trying to get the most views and i feel like that really puts in perspective um how desperate for attention this guy is if you're gonna upload stuff that literally you're not proud of or that makes you look bad that is um kind of a strange thing to do here's a clip of fuzi treating his security guard badly have you given me a diet coke no, no. have you given me a red bull sugar free you have you have you given me water yeah once, twice, the same bottle, four times. Dog, if you want to be with me and work for me, protect me like a multi-million dollar brand. I'm not Walmart. I'm not your Z-list streamer. I don't sit at home and play video games. Yeah. I demand respect. I love you, but if you're not qualified for this job, because all you know how to do is roll joints, you have a beautiful spirit. I'll admit that. I love your energy. I don't want to lose you. But if you guys don't, and what, what's his name? Um... Not you, um... Kwan? Yeah, Kwan. I don't like his... I, I told him, I don't like his energy, I don't like nothing. I could literally say body all tonight. I, it's not official, there's a lot of security I can hire right now. Like, obviously he can choose whoever works for him and everything. It just comes across a little bit, like, harsh though, man. He's like, fetch me water, fetch me this. Does he know what security are? Like... That's not what security's job is. Security is supposed to protect you. When you go out in public, they're supposed to make sure that you are good. They're not supposed to necessarily be like getting you water. I mean, they can do that obviously if they feel like it and stuff and that, you know, is what they signed up for, but that's not necessarily their job. And this is a clip of Fuzi getting recognized by a fan and then the fan was filming a little interview with him and he like freaks out on this guy and says that he's stalking him, which in reality he wasn't at all. This guy's trying to go viral off my name. July 15th and Keem? What the fuck? Nobody does shit, man. You gotta help protect my image. I'm bad. I'm like Kanye. I lose my mind. I need people around me to protect my image. How the fuck do you guys not understand that? I have mental problems. I need help. Oh, 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 Peter, 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 Peter. What did I just say in there? Oh, no, no, no. Oh, my God. What is he doing? I thought you left to get the ox portal. No, you guys <laughs> Fuck off! Yusuf! Just running in the middle of the street. No, 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 no. no. Listen, 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 Linda. listen! Linda. Please! Linda! What are you doing in that moment? Oh, Canadians, why are you so slow? I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Did I see all your guests this No, 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 I just came from Toronto. I was just at Carabana. I was just at Carabana. Hey, 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 Canadians are kind Let's get the What am I watching? I was just at Carabana, I'm sorry. I know, but you're not letting me finish my story. These are random people he's yelling at. Okay, Gabe should call me a psychopath. <laughs> By the way, for anybody that's wondering, FouseyTube is 33 years old. I just thought that was important to bring up since, you know, he's acting like a 10 year old. Since he went to Kick, which is a live streaming app, he's supposed to sign a deal with them, which is supposed to be for a couple million dollars. It's been speculated that it's for 15 million. I've also heard that it's for like 3 million. I've heard millions. Either way, he's getting millions of dollars if he signs this deal. That deal was supposed to be signed today. But what happened last night might make it so it never happens. But before we get into that, let's watch a couple more clips of Fousey being unhinged. This is Fousey running around in a freeway. Now 2023, I'm 33 years old. I'm about to sign a bill, a doll, uh, I'm about to sign a multi-million dollar deal, dog. What up, y'all know me? Me the butt is somebody's joke. The scene you left it all from dirt four in the trailer. And he almost got hit by the car right there. I'm on the Miami freeway, by the way. I don't understand what world we're living in. This guy's literally walking around a freeway while traffic is going, which is super illegal and just fucking insane. And then somebody recognizes him, which probably just builds his ego up more, which he does not need any of. This clip is from yesterday, and it's him having a mental breakdown after smoking, apparently, marijuana. And he claimed to be sober, which he's been claiming to be sober for a while from not only drinking, which he had a problem with, but also any sexual activity which i don't really believe after obviously the last video that i did where he um seemed like he probably had sex at an airport with a drunk woman buddy that's around me loves my energy everybody my security just told me in the car this is insane i'm laying in bed with my wife yesterday and telling her how you gave me my energy for life back you make me want to live again you make me want to work hard again 
This is not normal behavior, I'll tell you that much. Guys, I'm trying my best, but I'm not manic. This is also Fousey at this YouTuber's house named Jack. Jack is a 19 year old YouTuber. I don't know what type of content they make, but I know they hang out with the Island Boys, which is cringe. But Fousey is a 33 year old man who presses this kid for like no reason. Nah, man, I don't, I'm not embarrassed. Anything, you should be embarrassed for the way you're acting. Like, you know you're getting cooked. I'm not getting cooked. I'm fucking 19, you're 30, trying to fucking roast a 19 year old. No, hey, I'm 19, 19 telling you you're fucking up How the you with your corrupt youth. I'm 30 fucking three and that's I stand crazy. on it. And I'm worth over 50 Dude, million dollars. That's not true. There's what no way that's true. Probably more than you. No. I'm worth over 50 million dollars. What are you worth? You just made 17 million dollars in that. What are you worth? Uh, if we're going, you want to show bank accounts? I sign my kid deal tomorrow. Let's do it. Let's I'll go. pull up my bank account right and show now. you. Pull up bank account right now. No, I have no money right now. I'm broke. So then why are you acting like that, motherfucker? Because I don't need money. I don't no. even act like that. I don't need money. You don't yet. deserve money Let if you don't talk. act like that. Let me talk. You humble this motherfucker. Let me talk. Okay, go. I don't need money to know I'm the motherfucking man. I know I'm the man even if I was broke. I knew I was the man even when I had no money. Even this when is I had like, no bitch, imagine getting in someone's no face manager. like that. Right. That's so weird. Like, he literally got in that kid's face super hard for like nothing. That's, I don't know. That's weird. Like, I'm not a violent person, but if someone got in my face like that, I would actually take it as a threat and probably like push them or something at least. Maybe even throw a couple like one twos, you know what I mean? Like a little, maybe give them a little tickle or something. Be like, get out of here and tickle them or something. Hey, what's your name? Huh? What's your name? Jack. What do you do? Oh, it's great. Well, I don't know, social media, YouTube. No, dead ass? YouTube. How old are you? 19. How long have you been on YouTube for? Seven years. That's your Lamborghini? Yeah. That's your McLaren? Yeah. This is your house? Yeah. Good fucking shit, dog. Yeah. Why can I never I, get I wasn't smart shit. with my money. I wasn't smart. Good shit at 19. You retired your parents already? <coughs> you know, they're good. Yeah, they're good. yeah, good shit, dog. I'm proud of you. Jad? Jack. Jack, what yeah. kind of content Jack. do you do? Uh, <laughs> uh, like just check pranks, challenges, stuff like that. Fire, do you do real pranks or fake pranks? <laughs> Be honest. Yeah, it depends on the They're fake. <laughs> Be honest, own that shit. You know, like the, own it, your pranks nah, are fake. real. Hey, I give away money to they're people. They're not real. They're fucking real. Giving away money hey. to people is real, but you tell them, hey, I'm gonna uh -huh. do this and uh -huh. they give you money. No, we'll watch it. Really? Fuck okay, yeah. Okay, but all your pranks are fake. Yeah. Yeah, they are. Well, I can vouch right right Some, Some of the videos are skits. Some of the videos are skits. That's the fakest shit ever. A skit? Right. Yeah, guys. Hey, guys, it's a skit. I know she sucked my d camera, but it's a skit. He's so hostile. I had enough balls to say it. You're 19, own your shit. I said some of them are, some of them aren't. No, which ones are real? Show me a real prank right now. Uh, not why one you they gave my money. Prank? It's not that deep. It is that deep. Because you're trying to stand on something that's not true. You're trying to build no, your I business. I told you a, how it you're is. You're trying to build your business on a lie. Fuck your Lamborghini. Fuck your McLaren. Dude, no, you're crazy. Crazy. Yo, that was the craziest switch up I've ever seen in my life. Right. Yeah. Yeah. From like good shit to yeah, fuck you. Too. Yeah, meet the legend. Facts. All right, I like that. Whatever. I fuck you. So what's next? All right, now we're about to go into fake ass prank. He's actually insane. Like, that's insane. He was like, oh, dude, congrats, da-da-da. I've never met you before, but hell yeah. This is literally the kid's house as well. Like, this is him going to his house. And he's like, you know, giving him credit and being like, oh, that's hella cool, da-da-da. And then he, like, gets triggered because he just assumes that his pranks are fake, which, quite honestly, yes, they probably are. But if anyone should be bitching about it, it shouldn't be Fousey, too. I mean, Fousey probably made millions of dollars just off of making fake prank videos. Most of his channel, which grew up to 10 million subscribers, was mainly based off of fake pranks. It's just weird. It's almost like he's just projecting on his own emotions towards fake pranks. This next clip is of Fousey and his assistant slash friend and they get in an argument where actually this assistant and friend says that he's emotionally abusive. That's why. It's not why? Me I want to no, be here. No, no. I don't care what Chad's saying. I don't I've care never, anything. I've... The door is right there. You know when our flight is. Our car is here. You know when we're going home. Go have fun with Nadia. You just looked at me in the face in front I'm of my business. To... Can I talk? You're not letting me speak, you I've said. heard you enough. Your but actions you're not, speak far you're louder. Not Kitty, to Kitty, me. Kitty Correo, you just looked at me in the eyes in front of my business my and said that I'm emotionally valid. abusing you. Have you seen yourself, dude? I don't think this is really making you not look emotionally abusive. I'm just gonna say that. Just because you wouldn't classify yourself as emotionally abusive doesn't mean that you're not. And also, what he's doing right now, whether he knows it or not, um, he's probably gaslighting her. And then you call me manipulative? Because you're not fishing right now. I'm you're not, not gaslighting right now to I'm get everybody not. to be like, oh my God, Fusi emotionally manipulated. If there's one article that comes out now that says Fusi uh, emotionally does this to his assistant, I will never look at you in the eyes ever again. 
I just want to say I've seen many clips of them together and I've even had talks with my friends about these two together and no he definitely has treated her like shit a lot even before this even came out and I would quite honestly say um, has been emotionally abusive. So here's Fousey getting in a fight with a 19 year old in his own house. Hey. Yo, you're a bitch. You're a little bitch. Bro, you're a bitch. He didn't even have his kick money yet. Yo, you're fucking. I'm beta. I'm actually 33 years old. I'm beta. Yo, get me some more about it, Sean. Give me some fucking. You're lucky yo. I made friends with your security guard. Hey, now, hey, now we can't box. There's a whole. Whoa, Jesus, dude. I slapped the dog shit out of you. I slapped the dog shit out of you. My dick is hard. My dick is hard. Your bitches want me. He just, he just say that his dick's hard. So for about two days, fuzzy has been being harassed by this person named Ganville. They've been calling Fousey's parents and brother and just saying a bunch of bullshit about him and just trying to stir the pot. And they've been also doxing where fuzzy has been staying at and calling his number. And while they're doing this, they're also streaming themselves doing it because they stream on other platforms as well. Originally, they were streaming on Kick, but since Fousey so tapped in with Kick, he actually got them banned and then they moved to YouTube. They got really mad and really wanted to up the game to where they pretty much got in a huge battle that led to what is currently the biggest event that has happened in probably Fousey Tube's history. And it seems like this guy has almost this weird obsession with trying to fuck with people's lives who are like very emotionally unstable, like Fousey and Aaron Carter, who have both been proven to be bipolar and manic. And I think that's really low and gross. I don't think you should be messing with anyone like this, let alone people that really struggle with their mental health. And this isn't me saying that those people are saints or anything. That's not at all what I'm saying, but this doesn't solve anything. This just fucks with people's lives, puts them in danger. Even if I was young, I wouldn't find this entertaining. Like it's just fucked up. It feels like some people don't even see people as human beings. They're just like, oh, it's just entertainment. They're not a real person, but they are real people. Maybe not every single thing they say or do is completely 100% accurate or true, you know, maybe they play it up, but they're real people. So right down here, we have the streamer Ganville, who is the person that kept on calling Fousey, who keeps on harassing him and is pretty much getting off on this and has also done it to many other people, like I said before. And quite honestly, I was scared to even speak on this person because I'm scared that he'll try to mess with me because he literally can find anyone's address and just troll them and knows how to get away with it. I don't want that, obviously, but I can't not address this. So right here, Fousey's on the phone with Ganville, and the reason why Ganville was able to find Fousey's number is because he called the hotel and then, you know, somehow got them to call his room. It's fucking weird. That's like complete stalking. Oh wait, let me put you on speaker. Hold on. What's up? What'd you say? Yo, I'm Ganville. I'm the guy that was calling your mom and, and sister and brother and shit. I think one of your fucking f***ing friends got me banned on kick. Hello? Can you hear me, buddy? Hello? Can you hear me, buddy? You know we have your address, we have your number, oh, we have really? everything. Oh, you like doxing too. Hey, I know where you are right now and I live here, buddy. Come over here, Fousey bitch. I swear to God, I'll kill you. Instantly, like, what Fousey was saying is like, hey, you know, this is real life, you know, we have your address and your number, like, you know, leave it at that. Be like, hey, man, like, can you stop? Um, this isn't cool. This is going to get serious. Instead, he takes a really weird route of being extremely aggressive and threatens him, which is illegal. You can't do that. Like, what Ganville is doing, he might be able to get away with, which is, you know, not me trying to root for him or anything, but he might be able to get away with it due to the fact that he's, you know, just finding out where he is and then calling numbers that, you know, lead to him. Where Fousey completely is, you know, going against the law right here by threatening to harm him. That's unfortunately not how it works for the god you pull up to my house right now i'll stick a knife 10 uh, 10 feet in your fucking throat i literally fucking <laughs> slice it down to your penis and chop it off yes this is a goddamn threat bitch i'll you if you come up to me that's really bad that's really really bad and i get it like people when they fuck with you that's awful not cool that's really bad though like that will not play out well for Fousey. He might get in a lot of trouble for this. The hotel let him call my room. He knows where I am. I did threaten him. I said, if he comes onto my property tonight, I'm sticking a knife through his not chest smart. and I'm slicing it down to his penis. Hi, what's up? Run away like a little pussy. What's up? Freak out and threaten to fucking slit my throat again and shit. Threaten to dox my family. This guy's actually crazy. 
That's so Beautiful. fucked. I'm letting him commit himself. The problem is, is that you're saying you're letting him commit himself, but you're the one that's literally physically threatened him multiple times and said, yes, this is a threat. Insane. This is exactly what I thought would happen with Fousey, is that somebody would swat him or somebody would fuck with him and he would react on emotions and anger and just be, you know, all over the place. And that's exactly what's happening. And it's really a dangerous situation. Like he needs to actually get offline probably and not be supported by these streaming companies and get help because this is like somebody's actual life. And I, I don't know why people think this is actually funny. It's actually not funny. Yes, it's somewhat entertaining, but that's just because it's so fucked up, you know? It doesn't mean it's a good thing or anything like that. You like getting fucked in the ass? You like getting fucked in the ass? You like getting fucked in the ass? Hey, me right now, come to my hotel. What hotel are we at? You got your gun? Hey, what, what hotel are we at? Say it out loud. But I'm not going to say it it's actually so scary that people are able to find so much info on people and like let alone that they want to as well like this guy knows his hotel room and shit like the fuck is wrong with people get your gun okay hey what's your address text me your address I'll he just told his security guard to get his gun which i do believe it's true that his security guard has a gun because um here's a photo of what i would assume is one of his security guards with a, a gun So he says he wants to show him his collection. That's obviously not talking about Pokemon cards. Be careful because somebody could just tell Aiden and he'll call Eddie or whatever. To me, it doesn't matter. Like, you know, I don't, my livelihood is secured in different ways, but like that could really affect somebody's livelihood just because they have a differing opinion or because they troll different than you or whatever. I don't think doxing somebody and finding their location and finding their numbers is just trolling at that point. I think that's just harassment. And I think it's fucking creepy. I'm gonna be quite honest. That's not trolling. Trolling is like making a joke in a video game and like name calling somebody at the most. You know what I mean? Be like, blah, blah, blah. Like, that is just like actually fucking creepy. Immediately try to silence somebody like that? That's so weird to me. Not to mention that in his chat and in my chat, they were doxing or attempting to dox everything about me, his whole chat. So the funny thing is probably due to the fact of you doing it first. So they were trying to retaliate and I don't think that's um, OK or acceptable, but that's probably why they were doing that. I'm not sure if it was confirmed, if the room number was confirmed. I want to say it's 70 percent chance I can make something funny happen or I could call as somebody from his. He dead ass thinks that harassing this guy to where the police come is just something funny to put this guy's life in somewhat danger or just ruin his night and shit and i'm not a dude i don't care about fuzzy as like you know a content creator or whatever like it's like whatever but as a human being for anybody this is just fucking weird everybody wants to call me a swatter everybody wants to say that i've never swatted anybody in my life rarely do i ever call the police i don't think calling the police on somebody necessarily is any better also just fucking with people like this, I don't think that's justifiable. So before the police got here, Fousey actually called them himself as well. Ganville called them and Fousey called them. And Fousey did probably the dumbest thing that he's probably ever maybe done. I don't know, he's done a lot of dumb things, but this is in the top three, I would say. There's a gun to my head right now. There's a gun to my head. Help, ma'am, 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 he left. Ma'am, he left. There's a gun to my head. Help, help, get them. Help, bye. Ma'am, Intercontinental, what's my room number? Help, don't So what happened there is Fuzi made a false report that there was a gun to his head by somebody else. Obviously, we can see the footage. There's not. And so the police now have to take this extremely seriously because, you know, it's one thing to call the police and be like, hey, this guy's been harassing me, da-da-da, can you show up, you know, and bring some officers so I can figure out what to do about this. Instead, he freaks out and literally makes a threat to himself, and that's going to probably bite him in the ass, honestly. The reason why I think he might be able to get a little bit more of a slap on the wrist is because, obviously, he struggles with his mental health, and that is very apparent. Every police in the city, they're blocking every quadrant. They're blocking there. I don't know if you guys can see. Oh, my God. There. I'm going to slit your throat. He calls to my mom. Okay. No, my mom's throat. Okay. He calls my room today. Mm -hmm. Hi, it's me again. Remember me? 
He posted a video. He was on live yesterday calling my mom. I have his face, everything recorded. He threatened my life tonight. He said exactly where I am out loud, room, everything. I literally told him, if I see you, I'm sticking a knife nine inches in your neck and I'm slatting it down your penis. He gave me his address. So Fuzi right there to the police just admitted that he threatened him. I don't, he's a stalker. I don't fucking. I just want to say, if you ever get swatted or anything, um, the best response is not this. Uh, be calm. Explain the situation. I know it's hard to be calm in, you know, scary situations, but don't scream at the police. They're trying to understand what is going on because they don't know. He's a stalker. Okay, and who is this guy? I don't no, no, fucking no. know. So how do you want us to look for him if you don't know where he is? I have his address! That's actually an annoying answer from the police. How do you want us to find him if you don't know? Um, in situations where you're doxxed or people are stalking you, why the fuck would you necessarily know? You just want help. The way that Fousey's going about it, though, was screaming at them. Very embarrassing. Not a good way to go about it. I said grab my security 20 minutes ago! You guys are dumb as fuck, man. You guys are literally dumb as fuck. Honestly, at this point, though, the police might just think that he lost his mind and is making threats on himself, which, quite honestly... He kind of is um, making threats on himself, but there was a person that is harassing him and doxing him and trolling him. So that part is true, but he did call on himself and make threats to himself. It's a very shitty and weird situation. Y'all are fucked. I'm suing all y'all. My life is in danger and you're- I don't know how he would sue them. Arrest the Palestinian Muslim who's viral. Are y'all dumb or are you stupid? Do you like your job? You're fucked. The way he's responding to the police is exactly how I thought he would always respond in these situations. And it's really toxic, really bad, very ego driven as well. I'm going to play this last clip. This explains a little bit more of who Ganville is, the person that pretty much made all this happen. Besides, you know, some of the things that Fousey brought to himself. For trolling other people, some of you may not have heard of me. Some of you have been around watching streamers for like between five and ten years. Probably know some of the people I used to f*** with. You know, Ice Poseidon, Aaron Carter in his short stint when he was online, stuff like that. It's kind of weird, but I genuinely remember this guy's name being brought up in like Aaron Carter streams. But I was a little bored and wanted to test out some troll shit on kick because I saw all these idiots. I don't think harassing people like this is troll shit. It's past that. This is actually fucking with people's lives. And yesterday I literally said I'm going to make Fousey cry because he's irritating his keeps popping up on my TikTok and all this shit, and I think that the guy is obnoxious. I think that he's full of shit. I think everything about him is fake. Fake teeth, fake chain, fake girls, fake kick deal, fake everything. So where this story ends right now is that Fousey has been taken to a mental health evaluation. He's been 51 50 and he will be free in 24 to 72 hours. I just want to say, hopefully Gamble does not come after me because I do not want that. But in my opinion, what you're doing is not cool it's not acceptable and quite honestly i hope you get in trouble for it and i also hope that fuzi gets the help that he needs him threatening you and doing all this stuff and treating his assistants this way and all these things are just not acceptable and quite honestly i hope a lot of live streaming apps maybe even ban fuzi at this point because i don't think he should be live streaming not the way that he's doing right now and i really hope kick who is going to have a deal with him where they paid him millions of dollars that was supposed to be signed today but now he's obviously locked up. I really hope that falls through because the last thing he needs is more support for live streaming and doing this type of shit before it gets too late. It's This is not going down a good path. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video. It was really hard to cover. If you like to hit the like button, you can also check out my merch at johnnygilbert.com. All of it's linked down below. I'll see you with more videos very, very soon. Stay having our crappy less bitch. Don't quit and peace out, fuck bugs. Bye.